Well, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of the fact that today is Canada Day, I have decided to close my performance for you here this afternoon by presenting some magic that is uniquely and unquestionably Canadian. A piece of magic that we, the proud citizens of Canada, can embrace as our own. A magic trick that allows us to stand united and do what patriotic Canadians do better than anyone else in the world. Apologize. It's, it's what we do best. And right now, I'm going to come out into the audience to apologize to one person in particular. I'm sorry. Oh, really? I'm truly sorry. I'm sorry to inform you that it's now your turn to join me on stage to help entertain these wonderful people. Thank you for volunteering. Let's bring them up with a big round of applause. My name is John, you are? Yeah. This is Dan, everybody! <laughs> Thank you, Dan, you're a great sport. Thanks for helping to uh, uh, do some Canadian magic for everybody with me here today. Now, before we can do this, Dan, I, I have a question for you. Are you Canadian? I am. You sure? Because, you know, people can just say they're Canadian without any real means of proof. And for that reason, I, I did come up with a, a very simple test to prove whether or not Dan here really is Canadian. Now Dan, I don't want you to be nervous about this test. It's actually quite easy for anyone that is actually Canadian. So how would you like to relax? Just sit yourself right down there, face the audience. Loosen up, this is gonna be very easy if you are in fact Canadian. First question for Dan is, how do you pronounce the last letter of the alphabet? Z. Z! He got one right! Excellent job. Dan, by what nickname is the common $1 Canadian coin known as Looney? A Looney! That's two for two! And the final question, question number three. Dan, how are the Toronto Maple Leafs like the Titanic? No idea. Okay, that was a trick question. Only Leafs fans know the answer. They both look good until they hit the ice. He's two for three. I think we're going to give him that. Dan, we do have a little bit of uh, Canadian magic for you. And uh, I believe most of it right over here. This bit of Canadian magic is going to be unmistakably Canadian because it uses not one, but three iconic things that are Canadian. The first of which happens to be this. That's right. It's a toque. And toque, as we all know, is a French-Canadian word that means bad fashion statement. Cool thing about toques is that one size fits all. Dan, you're going to get your turn in just a moment. First of all, though, I want you to reach inside the toque, feel around in there, make sure it is an empty toque. In fact, grab the bottom of the toque from the inside, pull it inside out, so we can show the entire audience that, yes, indeed, it is an empty toque. Dan, are you ready for the magic? I want you to reach up into the air and grab a little bit of nothing, Dan. Toss it inside the toque. Excellent. Wiggle your fingers over the toque and say the magic words that are known by Canadians from coast to coast across this great land. Well, Roll up the rim. <laughs> Reach inside, Dan. Pull out what you find. What do we got? A pack of cards. That's fantastic. You just earned a big round of applause.
Yeah, I've got two more of them I've got in my case. Tell you what, Dan, I'll take the cards out of their box. You can put that tube on yourself, get yourself all climbed into that tube. Three here, they got a Dan, I'm going to give you this pack of cards. I want you to have a good look through the cards. Uh, and when you see a card you like, I want you to pull it out of the pack. Now, I'm not going to look, and I don't want you to show the card to anybody else here. But you have a good look at the card, Dan. Tell me when you've got a card. You've got a card. All right, Dan, uh, I'll take back the pack. And I'm going to give you this pen. It's not a magic marker, it's a Sharpie. Now, what I'm going to get you to do, Dan, is write something on the face of your card. That's the side with the spots and the numbers, okay? And it could be anything you want. Don't let me see. You can write your name, your initials, pin number, whatever you want, Dan. Totally up to you. Let me know when you're done. If you're done, all uh, good. I'm going to shuffle the cards and have you put your card back in the pack. We are going to lose Dan's card into the deck. Better pick that one up, Dan. Just in case, is that yours? That's not your card. All right. I'll tell you what. We'll just pop that back in here. Now, Dan, at this point in time, you are the only one that knows which card you chose. Is that right? You're also the only one that knows what you wrote on that card, correct? But Dan, there's something that everybody here does know. And that is how awesome you look in it, too. Dan, I'll take the pen. Uh, you can take the pack, and I want you to shuffle those cards, okay? Give him a good mix. While he's doing that, uh, we're going to get the next thing uh, for Dan, which is this, inside this box. This is the next thing that is absolutely, unmistakably Canadian. It's something that you will find in every Canadian household. In fact, you'll all recognize this. Yes? Maple syrup. And as you can see, I shop at Costco. Now, Dan, what I'm going to do is have you hand me back a pack of cards with your card lost somewhere in the deck. The deck goes in the box. Yes. And it is now toast in maple syrup. Oh, yes. And whether or not this works, I can guarantee you one thing, folks. This it's going to be the sweetest card trick you've ever seen. All right. There we are. It's getting pretty messy in there. All right. Now here's the situation. Dan chose and signed one card. He shuffled the card back into the pack, which was then dropped in the box and covered with thin maple syrup. We now have a very sticky mess of cards in this box. Normally, what happens at this point is the magician, that's me, finds Dan's card using sleight of hand. However, I think you'll agree that in their current condition, finding Dan's card using sleight of hand would be very difficult, if not darn near impossible. And that is why I am not going to try to find Dan's card using sleight of hand. I'm going to attempt to find Dan's card using the third Canadian item. Yes, this is the most Canadian way I can think of to find your car. by using sleight of stick. How Canadian is that, right? Then, I'm going to need the audience here to give, give us a little hand with this illusion. Um, audience, I'm going to count to three and I'm going to have you and Dan say the magic words, roll up the rim, at the count of three. Audience, are you ready? Dan, are you ready? All right, at the count of three, everybody. One, two, three. Yes! One card. 
stuck to the stick. Thanks to that maple syrup. Dan, in just a moment, I'm going to have you look at this card. Now, the odds of me being able to bat the cards out of the air and find the one out of 52 that is the one you chose, the one you signed. Dan, the odds of that happening are, well, darn near impossible. In fact, it is so impossible, so fantastic, so amazing, that if that is indeed your card, Dan, this crowd is surely going to rise to their feet. Dan, what I'll have you do is take the card off the stick, look at it. If it is your card, I want you to stand up proudly, hold it up. But only if it's your card, okay? I'm nervous, folks. Let's find out. Dan, what do you think? It's way clear with this one. It's his card! Dan, you did a fantastic job. I'll take the two. You can keep the card as a souvenir or not. Well, you can have that one instead, Dan. You are fantastic. You may take your seat. Nice hand for Dan. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is John Kaplan. You have been a fantastic audience and have a magical Canada Day, everybody. Woo!